Hello AI enthusiasts, welcome back to Skill Group. It's a breaking news. Google just dropped the Gemini Ultra, the latest evolution in their powerful language model lineup. But is it worth ditching your trusty Gemini Pro for this shiny new upgrade? In this video, we'll put both models through their paces, testing their capabilities, exploring their strengths and weaknesses, and ultimately answering the burning question, should you upgrade to Gemini Ultra? Stay tuned because we are about to unlock the secrets of these AI powerhouses. Alright guys, so I will be doing a comparison between simple Gemini model and Gemini Ultra or you can say advanced version. So let's begin the comparison. So first I'll try to see it from logical deduction point of view. So the first prompt I'm giving, five friends, Alice, Bob, Charlie, David and Emma, each have a different favorite color, red, blue, green, yellow and purple, though not necessarily in that order. From the clues provided, determine each person's favorite color. Alice's favorite color is neither red nor blue. Bob's favorite color is green, so this one is confirmed. Charlie's favorite color is next to Emma's. David's favorite color is not yellow. Emma's favorite color is not purple. Let's see. So I'll hit enter and submit from both of these models. So Gemini Ultra discusses two scenarios. So first scenario is this one. The second is this one. So if you see, it just began with the knowns like Bob likes green. And you can see here that it applies the clues. Alice's favorite color is neither red nor blue. So this leaves yellow, purple and green since Bob already likes green. So Alice can either like yellow or purple. So this one is great. Then the clue three. Charlie's favorite color is next to Emma's. This implies their favorite color are paired. If Emma likes yellow, Charlie likes either red or blue. Then this one is the clue four. And based on these, it deduces further. This one is scenario one, like Emma likes yellow or Emma could like red. But if we see a simple Gemini model, it also started with the known, but the answer is not that structured, you can see. Uh, as compared to Gemini Advanced, where it's applying the clues, then reducing further. It also gives us a single scenario, but it says the last two entries, Charlie's and Emma, have two possibilities each, but it's not discussing those possibilities. So in my opinion, I believe that Gemini Ultra has done a pretty decent job in this particular scenario. So now next, I'll try to see it from a riddle perspective, which one solves the riddle better. So I'm giving a prompt. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Let's see. So here you can see that both of them performed pretty decent job. You can see here that both of them are actually doing pretty similar job. Both of them said uh, the answer to this riddle is echo. Uh, but Gemini Ultra has picked it. It said like this is a classical riddle and the answer is echo. Both of them are doing pretty similar job. So they both are same in this particular scenario. Now let's try to see it from puzzle solving perspective. I can say you have a three gallon jug and a five gallon jug. How can you measure exactly four gallons of water using only these two jugs and unlimited water supply? Let's see. So here you can see that Gemini Advanced or Gemini Ultra is giving the response straight to the point. So if you read both of them, this one and this one, this one seems a little bit confusing in my opinion. And I can say this one is a great response. It also explains and there is a bonus tip as well. So in this particular scenario, simple Gemini model is doing a really great and decent job in my opinion. Now let's try to see it from an analogical reasoning perspective. I can say just as tree grows from a seed, so does an idea grow from a dash. Fill in the blank and explain your analogy. So you can see that both of them said it would be a spark. Okay. But the explanation of Gemini advanced model is really great. It explains why it could be a spark. It says as seed has a potential for a mighty tree, spark holds potential to ignite a roaring fire or a brilliant idea, the nurturing, transformation and small beginning. And this it also says the same about the potential that it says questioning. Okay, then it talks about like a question. 
than problem, then it also talks about curiosity. But I don't know why it's generating in some other language. What it is, I don't know. Then experimentation. So in my opinion, this one is a really great one. And I believe Gemini Advanced is far better in this particular scenario. Let's talk about moral dilemma. I'm saying you are in a lifeboat with three other people, but it can only support three, means one has to go. One is a doctor who promises to find a cure for a deadly disease. One is an elderly woman with a lifetime of wisdom. And the other is a child who represents the future. Who would you choose to leave behind and why? Obviously, you don't have to leave yourself behind. You have to make sure about that as well. So it's straightforward said that I cannot truly answer this question because as a large language model, I lack the capacity to make moral judgments about human life. This ethical dilemma represents a complex scenario where any choice would involve sacrificing a potential invaluable life, it says here. But it says how I can offer different perspectives to consider. It mentions about utilitarian approach, like saving the doctor could potentially benefit countless lives, that it talks about deontological approach. It says saving the elderly woman might honor respect for elders and accumulated wisdoms and right-based approach. Basically, it mentions three approaches, how saving a particular life will benefit. But it does not answer you straight away like you have to save that particular person. Same here. It says there's no easy or universally correct answer. It also tells you about arguments and counter arguments. If you save the doctors, that could be pro and that would be con. It says the cure is not guaranteed. Saving an elderly woman acknowledges the value of life experience and wisdom, but it says maybe physically less capable of contributing to survival on board compared to someone young. And saving a child, it says represents the potential of future and many years of possible contribution, but it says denies the immediate value of other individuals' life and their potential contribution in the present because we're talking about the future here. It also tells you about a less ethically fraught approach is to basically focus on maximizing the survival chance of those on the boat. These are not related to these, but it says whoever has the skill or knowledge or navigation could be a better fit uh, to be saved and who is strongest and most able to endure physically demanding situation. But to be honest, I have seen other models as well, which are doing like really great job in this particular moral dilemma scenario. So both of them are not doing that great, but if you compare both of them side by side, so I believe that Gemini Ultra is doing like really great job in this particular scenario. Now Gemini models can also generate images. So we can test them out from image generation perspective. So I'm giving prompt an image of a young woman with medium complexion and chestnut colored hairstyle in casual up to with loose strands around her face. Uh, you can read more about this prom. So let's see which one does better. I know they are not that great as compared to some other tools like Dolly, Stable Diffusion. But let's see among both of these which one performs better. So here you can see the generations. If we talk about the generation quality of simple Gemini model, these are good, not that bad. In this one, the eyes seems deformed, but these ones seems much better. I love this generation. This is like really crazy one, but both of them are doing pretty similar job. No major difference. Let's try to see them from the images of nature. So I'm giving it from fantasy realism Malaysia, something like that. Let's see. Well, I believe that simple Gemini model is doing great job. You can see the images are great. This one is also great, but I don't know what's providing me with the images of people in them. I didn't ask about that. I believe both of them are pretty similar in image generation. Not that great as compared to some other tools out in the market. Let's see how both of them will do in predicting the future. I'm giving it a prompt, predict three major technological advancements that will significantly impact society in the next 50 years and discuss their implications for humanity. Both of them had done pretty decent job in this particular scenario. I cannot see a much difference in the approach you can see here as well. So yeah, they both are doing a decent job and both of them have done really great. Now let's try to see it from coding perspective. I have seen a lot of different large language models which are really good in coding. So I'm giving it a simple prompt, which is my favorite one as well. Write a snake game in Python using Pygame. Let's see. All right, both of them have provided me with a code. 
Let's see which one does better. First of all, I'll copy the code from simple Gemini model. I'll paste it inside of VS Code. So here is my code. You can see, I think the random module is missing. I can import it on the top. I think this one is not a complete code. You can see, and it won't work either. Yeah, it's not working. So let's try to grab this one, paste it inside of VS Code. In this one, the screen is not defined, so it won't work either. So yeah, both of them have failed to produce a snake game in Python. So now let's try to see it from generating email copy. So I can say craft an introduction email for a new product called Vision Pro. Highlight its unique features and problems it solves. Before you begin writing, run a web search and gather information to create an effective email. Let's see. So you can see here that the simple Gemini model said, unfortunately, I cannot access internet directly to gather information about Vision Pro. So here you can see that this model, Gemini Ultra, it did some research to get some kind of feature and benefit for Vision Pro hypothetical product. And it just generated the email body you can see right over here. And it also provides you with subject line options as well. So in this particular scenario, Gemini Ultra is doing a great job. And simple Gemini model has failed terribly. You can see right on your screen. In the comparison between the Gemini Pro and Gemini Ultra models, it becomes evident that while both offer similar functionalities and features, the Ultra model falls short in justifying the upgrade. Despite its allure, the Ultra model fails to substantially differentiate itself from the Pro version, leaving little incentive for users to make the switch. Ultimately, for those considering an upgrade, the similarities between the two models suggest that for now you should stick with the Pro, it would be rather a more practical and cost-effective approach. I was thinking to compare Gemini Ultra with GPT-4, but I know that there is no comparison. GPT-4 will outperform this particular model, but I'm thinking to make a comparison video of Gemini Ultra with Copilot, and we will see how that will go. So for now, that's it for this particular video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.